Now we want to bring in NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. Danny, good morning. Good to be with you. Um, let's just dive right in. We know that Pat Cipollone spoke with the committee earlier this year, but this was his first formal recorded interview. So what could he have said in those eight hours of testimony and why could that be so significant? Going back to Cassidy Hutchinson's explosive testimony, one of the things she testified to uh, was that Pat Cipollone apparently said to her in the hallway something to the effect of, we're going to get charged with every crime imaginable. Now, if that's true, if he said that to Hutchinson, who was a relatively low-level staffer, then what are the odds that was the only person that Cipollone said that to? Uh, that's what the committee wants to know. Who else, if that's true? Did Cipollone say that to? And does that group include the president? Because if it does, that means that uh, the president may have been notified from White House counsel that this was a horrible idea. And Danny, the big holdup, of course, for the committee trying to get Cipollone to testify were his claims of executive privilege and attorney client privilege, that he wouldn't be able to share his conversations with the former president. So what does that tell us about what he would or would not have been able to speak about? In reality, these claims of executive privilege probably are not going to fly, but perhaps Cipollone raised them in order that the committee would force him to come testify. Because, number one, President Biden has already waived executive privilege, so that would weaken any claim of privilege in this case. But, number two, uh, what Trump was doing on January 6th arguably had nothing to do with being the president. And Cipollone was White House counsel. That means counsel for the government, not President Trump, the individual, and not President Trump, the candidate. So that would be a long shot claim as well. It, already courts have denied this claim of privilege in relation to Trump's attempt to block records from the National Archives. So because Cipollone was White House counsel, and because, by the way, uh, White House counsel Eric Hirschman has already appeared and testified uh, in a very entertaining manner, I should add, for most watchers, uh, that would further weaken Cipollone's claim, if you were to make it, of executive privilege as White House counsel. And Danny, just one more. We know there's going to be another hearing on Tuesday. What will you be watching for? What are you expecting? We're expecting that this is going to focus on the groups, the extremist groups, who may or may not have planned or been involved with other folks, arguably in the Trump circle. I think that's where we're going to see the committee focus. At least that's what they've signaled. Uh, but we will see who they actually call and what testimony they actually bring out, either via videotape, uh, video of the incidents in question, and live testimony. All right. We know you will continue to watch it closely, as will we. Danny Savalos, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.